Hi guys, welcome! In this video, let's analyze my Sara Ailing POV in one of our Magic Prison practice, including the right and wrong decisions I made during the game. Let's also try to see the weaknesses of this class, especially in map 2. Starting off with Dark Talisman, I cast a Dwish Chan to our Begetter. In my mind, I wanted to kill the enemy Yorman Gander in the first clash. So I immediately casted Harvester and assumed that he was in snake form. Good thing my intuition was correct and managed to secure the kill using Return to Sea. It's also a bonus that he just casted Harvester. Here, it was a bad thing for me to spend my time trying to kill the enemy scene. I also did not notice that my wish chant was over and still continued throwing skills to the same. And totally forgot that the enemy Orman Gander was still in snake form. Here, I'm just trying to cast sudden farewell to any enemy, but their phantom dancer spotted me and stripped my gears. I tried to run, but met their Yorman Gander at the end. I should have run in the opposite direction towards our base and should have also waited until I can equip my stripped gears. As you can see, being stripped was really annoying since you cannot re-equip your gears immediately, which costed me time before I can go back to the battlefield. Here, I casted Harvester too early and prematurely casted Return to Sea because I got distracted by the Phantom Dancer. I got stripped pretty bad, but good thing, I was intimidated near a safe zone. Then I used this opportunity to re-equip my gears. That intimidate placed me in a good position since I was left alone and I went straight to the enemy orb holders unnoticed. Then I casted Return to Sea for a quick burst. However, the saint did not die immediately. It was also a good thing that I got straight prey. Eventually, the saint succumbed to the sky earth resonance effect. Here, I tried killing the enemy elf at the same time tried to prevent her to get the white orb while my wish chant was down. However, I made a wrong decision and casted Harvester instead of Butterfly Ripple to her. Butterfly Ripple should have prevented her to get the white orb. Eventually, I managed to down her then back up him for both sides. In this instance, we managed to wipe them. and even got 4 orbs. Clash was happening in the middle so I immediately went there to assist. At this point, it was still everybody's game. I tried my best to prevent the enemy orb holders to get an orb or immediately shut them down if they happened to do so. But I did a crucial mistake. I tried to kill the Phantom Dancer who was holding the green orb instead of helping my teammates secure the middle. The Phantom Dancer even managed to freeze me. And things started to snowball from here in favor of the enemy. See how much time I wasted with that crucial mistake?
It was also not helpful for our team that I kept casting Mishchan and Harvester too soon. Plus the fact that I thought that the blue orb holder was an enemy. Here I had a good view and casted return to sea. However, it was not enough to bring down all enemy orb holders. Here's another good view. But sadly, I failed to kill the enemy elf because I was targeting the same instead of the elf which was another crucial mistake. Then the enemy Roman gather came to back the elf up. Eventually, I managed to bring down the elf with the harvester plus return to see combo. Here, I should have been able to kill the Hela, but I casted Wish Chant in the previous clash. So by this time, my Wish Chant was down and my damage was so low. Then the enemy saint used guardian to save the Hela. And the Kalis were killed. And that's how we got Bong. So what are the things that we may be able to learn from this video? Number 1. Don't cast your buffs too soon. There were a lot of instances in the game that I casted Harvester or Wish Chant too soon. So I came short in killing the orb holders at some time in the game. Number 2. Avoid targeting the wrong enemy or the enemies that will take time to kill. For me, my most crucial mistake was to chase the Phantom Dancer with Orb. Not only I failed to kill her, she also managed to disable me leaving my team with only 1 DPS for a significant amount of time. That's it for now, thank you for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and I love to have you back. Until next time, thank you for watching and see you in my next video.